Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to share with you guys an all new list of top Cydia tweaks for the iOS 8 through 8.1 Pangu Untethered Jailbreak Utility, as well as the brand new 8.1.1 Taiji Jailbreak for all iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad models. All right, getting started, I need to preface by saying a few things, but if you're one of my regular viewers and you know the drill by now, there will actually be an annotation on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube that will allow you to skip ahead to the actual tweak portion of this video. So first up, you need to be jailbroken to take advantage of the tweaks that I'm going to highlight in today's video. If you have yet to jailbreak, there will be two links on the screen now via annotation form. So again, it is crucial that you view this video on desktop. The first one will be a link to my untethered jailbreak tutorial for iOS 8.0 through 8.1 utilizing the Pangu untethered jailbreak utility. The second one will be my untethered jailbreak tutorial utilizing Taiji that functions on 8.1.1, the latest public firmware as of recording this video, which is actually the firmware that my iPhone 6 Plus is running right here. So of course it was jailbroken by way of Taiji. Next up, if you happen to see anything installed on my iPhone 6 Plus here that I don't explicitly highlight in today's video, I will actually have a link on the screen now, again, via another annotation that actually will take you to my complete top iOS 8 Cydia Tweaks playlist. So keep that in mind. Be sure to go to that playlist if you want additional tweaks that function on the iOS 8 through 8.1.1 untethered jailbreak. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. You may have actually noticed this first tweak at the beginning of this video prior to the intro. It's called Bounce Notify 8. Whoops, I actually went into the wrong one there. Bounce Notify 8. And what it actually does is it kind of borrows from OS X. So let me go ahead and back out here to the home screen and let's go over it. So it brings an OS X inspired feature to iOS devices, bouncing dock icons. And upon receiving a notification for any of the icons found in a user's dock, said icons will display a nice slick bounce animation just like iOS is not so distant cousin, again, Mac, OS X, or OS X. And as far as the settings are concerned, when you install Bounce Notify 8, all you have to do is go inside of the settings app and then go to the Bounce Notify settings pane. And then from there, you have the option to enable it, set the bounce interval, and also to control the bounciness. Of course, the higher you go, the more the icons in the dock will bounce and vice versa. If you want it to go lower, they will bounce less. So I'm actually going to go out of here and toggle this off because if you have notifications, then it will continue to bounce. So I'm going to leave that toggled off because obviously I have notifications in the messages app when I was just testing it and showing it for you guys. Next up, we have eye cleaner, which is a rather useful tweak that allows for the cleaning of multiple sectors of an eye device that are often left unattended to. And in some cases, eye cleaner is able to free up multiple gigabytes of storage space, especially when utilizing the OTA or over the air updates cleaning option. So as you can see here, we have an option to clean over the air software updates. And when cleaning it, it's extremely simple. All you have to do is select the options that you want and then tap on clean. It is actually completely free with the premium upgrade option. As you can see, it is supported by ads in the free iteration here. And now, as you can see, it says that it deleted 2,640 files. These are completely unused files that can be deleted that are fully safe, as you can see when I just went through the cleaning process with the options that I have checked now. It just went through the over the air software updates, which I actually don't have any because I'm on the latest version again, 8.1.1, but it also went through the unused dependencies, log files, cache files, temporary files, and it went ahead and it deleted all of those. None of them are necessary and all of them can be deleted. And again, it can kind of save you some extra space, especially when utilizing the over the air software update portion and even the messages attachment. If for whatever reason you find that message is using a lot of storage space, this is the tweak for you and it will definitely help you with that. Next, we have Crash Reporter and it's actually better to show you guys inside of City itself. So I have the listing up here. Again, it's called Crash Reporter and it can assist in the detection of which tweaks, extensions, modifications, or packages in general cause a springboard crash, which is extraordinarily useful if your device continually enters safe mode. From there, the information can inform you of which Cydia tweak or package you need to delete 
need to rectify said issue that caused such a scenario. So this is very useful in pinpointing which tweaks you have installed that aren't compatible with either your device or the firmware that it's currently running that are causing it to crash and to enter safe mode. I definitely recommend it if you have issues or if you like to try out tweaks that haven't been updated in a while and you want to see if they function on iOS 8.1.1 or whichever firmware you happen to be on if you're on iOS 8.1 jailbroken by way of Pangu, for instance. Now, next up, we have something else that's kind of related to notifications. It's called prettier banners. So I'm actually going to toggle off do not disturb here and you'll notice that when I send a message to myself inside of the banner I actually have a contact picture so that's the contact picture that I have set it's actually just a default one but anyway you slice it we now have contact pictures inside of the notification banners for the default messages app so they look really nice I definitely recommend it and it's something that a lot of jailbreakers will like again it's called prettier banners and although the name may be off-putting it's definitely something you'll greatly enjoy all right next up we have a tweak related to the lock screen so I felt it fit to lock the iPhone 6 plus here it's called lock smoother and it's another simplistic tweak that enables users to clean up a device's lock screen so to speak by removing certain elements to provide an even flatter look to the already flat iOS 8 and iOS 7 actually, because of course iOS 8 builds upon iOS 7 design that was introduced when Apple, of course, unveiled iOS 7 at WWDC 2013. So as you can see here inside of the settings app, we have a new pane for lock smoother. From there, you have the option to just enable it and you can remove darkening. Let me show you guys the difference really quick. So I'm going to quickly lock it. And then when we go to the lock screen here, it kind of makes everything darker, especially the keyboard section. So bringing it over back here into the settings app for lock smoother, let's go ahead and remove darkening one last time and show you guys the difference so when we go over to access the keyboard now as you can see it just basically showcases the device's lock screen wallpaper as well as the keyboard itself in a very clean look so let's go ahead and fully unlock it here and go over one of the next tweaks which is advanced settings 8 so it adds a quick toggle for users to easily enter iOS's default comprehensive system options menu so what I mean by that is when you install this tweak you can actually long press on the settings app to bring up this all new menu and it may not seem interesting to some people but it is definitely for those who are curious to explore Apple's hidden advanced settings menu, which is actually traditionally hidden from the user for obvious reasons. And inside of this new menu, jailbreakers can tweak various aspects of a device's UI and even control the animation speeds. However, the advanced settings won't be retained on a reboot. All right, and kind of wrapping things up here, we have the seventh tweak, which is called Kill Background 8. It will definitely be familiar to some veteran jailbreakers as it's an updated version of a tweak that easily allows for all apps open in the background to be closed via a simple button that's placed in iOS's default app switcher. So inside of the settings app here, we have a few basic options. We can enable it. And then from there, we can control a few things about Kill Background 8, and we can even enable the old legacy button. So let's go ahead and toggle it on simply by opening up app switcher so let's go ahead and toggle app switcher by double pressing the home button here and as you can see we now have two buttons over in the bottom left and the bottom right hand corners because of course I set that up inside of the settings pane there and when we actually tap on it it closes out of everything open in the background so now we just have the default springboard page here let's go ahead and just tap into it and that's kill background eight all right and finally we do have a paid tweak for the last one it's the eighth tweak and if you guys want additional free tweaks then just be sure to check out my complete comprehensive playlist which again i will have linked to on the screen now via an annotation form so again it is crucial that you view this video on desktop and if you want additional free packages that you can download from inside of Cydia right now that function on iOS 8, then just be sure to check out all of the videos in that playlist because as of now, there are over 30 tweaks that you can install on a device jailbroken on iOS 8. And with that said, I'm actually giving away 10 copies of App Heads, the premium tweak that I'm going to go over next in collaboration with the developer of App Heads himself. So if you're interested in winning, it's very simple. All you have to do is rate this video up and then leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section with your Cydia ID, which is incredibly easy to grab. All you have to do is go inside of Cydia and then go to the manage account section, sign in either via your Facebook or your Google account, and then your city ID will be down below at the bottom. 
Again, remember, all you have to do is include that in a relevant comment, rate this video up, and be subscribed. So if you aren't already subscribed, just be sure to click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name, and you can gain an additional entry in the dedicated video on app heads, which actually explains the tweak in depth, which I will also have linked to in an annotation. So if you guys want additional details on app heads, because I'm definitely not going to go over everything in this video, then just be sure to check out, again, the dedicated video on the all new tweak that kind of redefines finds multitasking. So as you can see here, when I toggle on the app heads interface, which I set up inside of the app heads setting pane over here inside of the settings app, then it brings up these all new app heads, which are definitely inspired by Facebook chat heads. And instead of conversations, you actually have circular representations of the apps that you have open running in the background. So when I go to open a new app, I receive a new app head, which it just places over on the left hand side, or it could place it on the the right hand side depending on how I set it up in the settings app again for more details on the setup of app heads just be sure to check out that dedicated video that I created that's on my channel and if you want to actually open an app without fully doing so then you can do that via what it calls live previews so as you can see here it is open inside of the preview mode now and apps are fully interactable so as you can see I can easily browse through this settings app here and I could switch on over to Safari very fast and fluid back to settings and I can actually open up Safari inside of the live preview if I so desire to. So as you can see, that is app heads. I absolutely love it. And if you guys want additional information on the tweak itself, as well as another opportunity to gain your chance to enter to win app heads for free, then just be sure to check out the video that I have linked to. All right, and that pretty much wraps up this video. Just sharing with you guys my all new list of eight top city of tweaks, seven of which are free with the eighth one being premium. And of course you can enter to win in this video. And if you guys liked it, just be sure to rate it up and let me know down below in the comments section. Now, if you guys are also interested in earning paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or simply free app life.com inside of mobile Safari. And if you're on iOS eight, after tapping download, press the home button, open the app and download and install the temporary secure profile, which is actually never even fully installed on your devices. It's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. And then from there, simply download sponsor sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more, and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right, and sharing my concluding thoughts with you guys here, if you like these top tweak videos, just be sure to let me know in the comment section and share some of your suggestions with me as I may include them in my next top city of tweaks video. And with that said, if you wanna be updated more often, such as when I release various videos covering topics related to jailbreaking, then just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, of course. Click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.